heartbreaking for parents to learn that their child is being bullied at school. But for one family in Ohio, the taunting turned tragic when their son committed suicide. Now the parents say it's the school that's responsible for his death. 17-year-old Eric Mohat always had a smile in yearbook photos, but behind that smile, Eric was hiding from his parents and friends that he was constantly tormented by bullies. Jan and Bill Mohat believe it was a single comment in math class in March of 2007 that finally prompted Eric to do the unthinkable. Eric was told by the bully, one of, them. One of the bullies, Eric, why don't you go home and shoot yourself? It's not like anybody would care. That afternoon in his bedroom, Eric used his father's gun to take his own life. Now, two years later, Eric's parents are suing the Mentor Ohio School District. The lawsuit claims that school officials and teachers were aware of the situation and did not take action. In a statement to CBS News, the school district says that after conducting its own investigation, they, quote, found no evidence to support the family's claims that we ignored a bullying problem. But for the Mohat family, that's not enough. How do you live with yourself knowing that you did not protect your child? Joining us this morning for an exclusive interview are Eric's parents, Bill and Jan Mohat, as well as their attorney, Ken Myers. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Jan, we, we could see your pain there talking about how you wish you could have protected him. But how could you have done that if you had no idea how bad it was? I haven't figured that out. You just feel that you should have known as a parent? Yeah. Well, that's what you're always told. You, you should know. But none of the classic warning signs were shown. I mean, he was, you know, preparing to go on a trip to Hawaii. He was buying things to, you know, for to read on the, on the plane. No clue. So how, how are you so convinced that if you didn't know, how did the school know? In the classroom, the teacher had to change the seat of the bully two to three times a week. This to restore comes, order to be able to teach in his class. This comes directly from children in the classroom that were in the classroom with Eric. So this was a problem specifically in that one math yes. class. You know, the, the children uh, described it as being a zoo. They were afraid to go to that class. So there's no way that the teacher could not oh, have known. No. Not unless he you're just blind and refused deaf. to report it to the uh, to the office or he, give any detentions or anything. The teacher was quoted as saying, "Leave the kid alone." You don't want me to have to give you a detention, because if I give you a detention, you won't be able to play in the game. That's it. That's it. We asked the school about this, and they said they don't have a bullying problem. In fact, they say they have anti-bullying programs in place that were in place when Eric was there. Bill, that's not satisfactory, obviously. The school has adopted the Olvius anti-bullying program from Norway. What they haven't told the residents of Mentor is that there have been many, many studies about the effectiveness of that program, dozens of them, and the vast majority of them indicate that the Olvius program is utterly ineffective in American schools. Um, as far as the... Uh, it doesn't work? It's, is it outdated? Well, there's many reasons why it doesn't culture work. Culture difference. The culture difference, but as far as the effectiveness of the program at, there at Menor, they've had five, six suicides? Six. In, six suicides in the last two years. They've had another one this year. Um, their current suicide rate is 13 times higher than the national average. I mean, this, this is a national disgrace, yet the school board refuses to do anything about the problem. Can we talk to the school and confirm that, that two other students also committed suicide the same year that Eric did? How will you use this, will you, in this lawsuit? Well, there's several that committed suicide before Eric and several after, and what it shows is a pattern. Uh, certainly, if, if, if one ch child commits suicide, maybe, maybe there's not a problem. But two, three, four, five, in fact, we just learned the other day of a young lady who had committed suicide, and her parents went to the school and invoked Eric's name at mm. the school, saying, we don't want another Eric Mohat. Jan, let's give you the last word. Are you doing this for Eric? I am doing this for Eric so that nobody forgets, and also so that nobody should have to live through this. No other child should have to live, go through what Eric did. So no parent should have to live through this. What do you want us to know about your son? He was a very gentle soul. He was raised to believe it doesn't cost you anything to be kind. We wish you well. Jan, thank you. Eric, thank you so much. Excuse me, Bill and mm -hmm. Ken. Appreciate your time.